Okay, so this is the last video of Global Climate IB Geography and the topic is Civil Society and Corporate Strategies to Address Global Climate Change. So first we're going to just go over what is civil society. It's the non-governmental organizations that express the will of the people. These include academic societies, activist groups, charity clubs, charities, clubs, community organizations, religious organizations, social enterprises, trade unions and voluntary organizations. And of course, this is not a definite definition, but this is just the definition that I felt was most suited. Okay, so here's an example of a civil society group, which is Greenpeace, and that works quite um, closely with the idea of climate change. So what are their goals? Replacing non-renewable energy with a renewable energy, protecting biodiversity in all its forms, preventing pollution and abuse of the Earth's ocean, land, air, and fresh water, and all nuclear threats promote peace, global disarmament, and non violence, <laughs> personal responsibility, and non violence. So, an example of their projects is Greenpeace U USA is campaigning for a Green New Deal, which includes a just transition to renewable energy, creating millions of green jobs, and halting any major oil, gas, and coal expansion projects, taking action alongside grassroots groups. Greenpeace USA has opposed new pipelines, blocked the largest fossil fuel through thoroughfare in the country and stood up against unjust anti-protest laws pushed forward by oil companies. These kinds of laws not only intend on silencing voices, they disproportionately affect black, brown, indigenous, trans and queer people. So as you can see, this is an example of a group that is non-government trying to express the will of the people, um, maybe not the will of every single person, but a, a large group of people who kind of feel that their society needs to be more just and in this case it's in terms of climate change and yeah okay so now we're going to look at more specifically corporate strategies as that's also a part of our syllabus point okay so corporate strategies so some corporations may be more inclined to reduce their environment environmental impact to factors such as social corporate social responsibility and their goals as a firm some firms do not necessarily aim to maximize profits Meanwhile, some corporations related to a certain political party or in a region with particular environmental regulations may not aim to reduce their environmental impact as much. So, an example of corporate strategies to address global climate change is by Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream. So here are a few quotes from their website which kind of show their commitment to this idea of corporate social responsibility. So, the one quote is, we've installed a solar array at our Waterbury VT factory that generates one third of that plant's electricity. So in Vermont, they have installed a solar array. We've installed a biodigester at our Helen Dawn factory in the Netherlands that turns ice cream waste in from the manufacturing processes into clean energy that helps power the plant. And we've helped pioneer energy for climate friendly freezer cases. Next, the goal is part of a growing movement called the science based targets alternative a collaboration between the cdp the united nations global compact world resources institute the worldwide fund for nature and one of the mean business coalition commitments so here they're kind of possibly even cooperating with civil society groups to address this larger issue and they also have partnership with avaz climate reality project and bicep okay so that's how one example of a corporation uses their strategy to address global climate change. Now we're going to go on to a final case study of civil society and how they have decided to kind of address climate change. So we have this, we have NGOs in Bangladesh. So let's do a bit of background. The nation's geography, it has one of the largest river deltas. 40% of the nation is composed of squatter settlements. Over 60% of the land lies below 5 meters above the sea level. It's prone to monsoons. It's had 219 natural disasters from 1980 to 2008. It's the nation's... Oh, and now onto the nation's economy. It has a GDP per capita of $3,900. 31.5% people are below the poverty line and debt is worth 25.9% of their GDP. So let's look at some environmental issues and... Of course, these have been exacerbated by climate change. So first, we have saltwater intrusion leading to 2.5 million water shortages, drought conditions leading to food insecurity and damaged fisheries, NGOs involved, 
Okay, so we have the Bangladesh Center for Advanced Global Studies and Christian Commission for Development in Bangladesh. So these two NGOs work together and raise the platform of stilt houses in the floating village Goal Bari, an agricultural village by 1.2 meters. And they also provided women with loans. On the other hand, UNESCO created Sundarbans World Heritage Site to protect mangrove forests from the detrimental impacts of climate change.